hey guys i hope you all are doing well and first of all i would like to say i haven't made a lot of videos uh over the past couple months i would say so because i've been super busy with work and i haven't done any topic research lately which is also a reason i'm not making videos so i'm making this video to answer a few questions i received over the past couple of weeks and these questions i'm answering they're not going to be super specific to one or two person you know I'm, I'm answering questions which i think that a lot of people have in their minds so let's move on to my channel's comment section um this one so this is uh, what i received 18 hours ago so thanks for the video you're welcome how can you move uh, opportunity to say from stage three to stage four from a workflow? Okay, so I, I think I know what this guy's talking about. So let's say we have a pipeline. We have four stages, one, two, three, four, stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. So the first, we have got two workflows and the first workflow is adding a new person as an opportunity to the pipeline let's say in stage one there's a, another work that should move that tile not create another one you know uh not create another opportunity not duplicate it from stage one to stage two so the workflow two is moving from stage one to two what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna use the create or update opportunity uh, action because what that does is that deletes the other one and creates a new one that way it's technically getting moved from stage one to stage two so that's uh, i hope that answers your question because that's how uh using the create or update opportunity action you move an opportunity from one stage to another in the same pipeline am i able to set up missed call text back for our, our number i have with grasshopper no so this is also another good question you cannot create any phone call related automations which is uh also missed call text back is also a part of that you cannot create anything like that if the number you're using is not a twilio or an lc phone number so uh, i hope that answers your question again hey bro what if my client uh have an own, own domain and they wanted to connect to their own domain on their site so then how can we link to our ghl site so i have a video on that actually so uh i have a video on how to connect your domain with uh your uh, go high level website or funnel i'll link it somewhere here maybe or in the description so if your client has a domain you have to guide him to set up the dns records which will be an a record and a c name record if you go to the settings of a uh, high level any any account so if i go to my own agency account i'll be able to go to settings and then there i'll find domain so you have to you have to guide your client to add this a record and this c name record to their dns zone for that exact domain and then you'll be able to add that domain once you update those records here and then add and then you will be able to use that domain for the website you created in your high level so yeah that's it love you tutorials thank you where did you get the copyright free illustrations from so that's also another generic questions that i get asked a lot in instagram facebook and youtube where did you get this copyright free illustrations so you could use flat icons for icons and uh you know clay parts and all those stuff for stock images you could use unsplash.com or freepig.com or pexels.com p-e-x-e-l-s.com you could use these three for stock images and again flat icons for icons uh svgs clip arts you know all those stuff and if you want to use the google five star review badge facebook five star review badge or anything like that you could just download it from google because these are not anyone's property you could use those you're not going to get copyright strike or anything like that for that all right how does the client log into his account so this comment came to uh one of my videos that uh where i've actually described how you can uh, share access to your clients so give access to your clients is really important if you are having your client uh, as a retainer on your high level account so if you want to give your client access you have to use a high level white label domain so you cannot use app.cohighlevel.com instead what you have to do you have to obviously create a user i've described in this video just go ahead and watch it and you have to share the domain app.yourwhitelabeldomain.com which is going to be replaced by your domain or subdomain or whatever you know so use that can you share the v3 please uh so i think uh what this guy is talking about is he's basically asking me to share a premium asset of ghl experts which definitely i won't do i'm not gonna do so <laughs> this is 
This is way beyond my power. I have my account. I am using those assets because I have got a free trial up. Maybe I've got a subscription, whatever. But if you want those premium features, you have to just add a card and then get a free trial and then you'll be able to use it. That's legal. If I give you, that's illegal. Okay. Which link do you send to client? Okay. Again, the white label domain. Don't ever send app.cohalable.com. That beats the entire purpose. Once you add your white label domain in your agency level settings, just share that domain uh, with your client. All right. Why would you make a video about favicons, but you won't tell us how to make the favicon or what dimensions to make it? Favicon is the tiny icon you see in uh, the browser tab that's active or maybe that not active uh, if you apply basic logic favicon is a square image so it could stay in any dimension as long as it's one is to one uh one by one actually uh which is a square formation and to make a favicon it's just basically making a logo just smaller that's it just apply basic knowledge um insta mojo razor play in ghl without pabli or zapier that's not possible however if these integrate with pabli or zapier these will also integrate with lc premium uh which is a webhook feature so you could try that one lc uh webhook features you know they just got launched by high level how is the website from elementor connected to ghl so i get a lot of questions in my client onboarding video so connecting go high level with your elementor or wp bakery or wix or squarespace whatever website is pretty simple just grab the form if you go to your uh sub account if you go to your uh you know site section and form builder and just you know just go to this form integrate form and copy embed code so the embed code has been copied which is basically an iframe code if you put that into your elementor website in an html block or a short code block or whatever this will work so this is pretty simple iframe the point of iframes is they integrate on each other so if i have system a and i've got system b system a generates an iframe this will clearly be working properly on system b that's the entire point and that's how it works um i am ghl okay so i cannot share the snapshot unless you sign up using my affiliate link so uh, i hope that answers your question um okay this is a pretty specific question and i have already answered it all right so this is also uh, another good question that i get asked a lot uh my client already has a website and how to integrate that with high level same using the uh form builders iframe codes just go ahead and copy this code from your form and integrate this to your uh website just copy and paste the job that's how uh you can connect the form if you have multi-step forms which are surveys uh you could do them from here and if you've got calendars you just go to settings and calendars and copy the code from there so uh connecting non-high level websites with high level is super easy all right so this question this is made 2023 on the dashboard i don't see mailgun or twilio so twilio and mailgun are not directly shown on high level anymore i think uh because they've launched their official products for email and uh phone number which is lc phone and email so if you don't see twilio or mailgun don't think that they are not necessary instead you have to use high level uh lc email and phone number you could choose not to do that you could use twilio uh, for phone and for email you could use mailgun but it's up to you all right so i've got another question which i've already answered but uh i'm gonna answer it with a bit more context would it be a SaaS or not so this question came to my client onboarding video so where i have showed how to create clients uh, account and do all these onboarding stuff this won't be a SaaS. SaaS means it will be automated so client comes in he fills up the form the account the user they'll be all automatically created and you need SaaS for that and for SaaS, you need to pay 497 dollars which uh is the SaaS subscription and the subscription i am in and i'm showing uh and i'm doing the videos with that's 297 dollar one so you have to do these onboarding stuff manually all right this question if my budget is 15 dollars a day but i have two ad sets under one campaign does that mean i will be spending 30 a day yes so facebook ads budget settings has been moved to ad set level because uh, it, previously it used to be in campaign level so you just uh, allocate the budget for the whole campaign rather than the whole uh like each individual ad set now you have to do that for each ad set 
so i hope that answers your question allocate half budget if you have got two ad sets in each one so yeah 750 dollars each okay uh can i make a video on how to set up lead connector on new accounts for mailing text and calling so pretty simple when you set up there will be a, a button in your phone settings that says start lead connector or switch to lead connector or whatever with a new account so just click that and follow the steps and if you are still having trouble you could uh watch my lead connector uh video i'll link that in the description too so uh there you can find all the pros and cons of using lead connector phone and then how to set that up uh all the steps are same uh in both cases whether you're switching or just getting started uh with a fresh account so uh you just follow that yeah so the section where you select only target people living in this location is selected for target people so this this setting also has been removed recently i cannot find that anymore so yeah this this used to be a good setting uh and this is still there in google ads Although I don't find that in Facebook ads now. How did you get the colors in the logo? So this is a question I get asked a lot. Th to get the colors, I just use a, a tool called Microsoft Power Toys. If you do a search on uh, here, Microsoft. So this is the tool I use. Just install this and you will be able to fetch the hex codes of the colors using Shift windows and c so uh in windows you can grab the colors like that all right so uh switch from am pm to european format that's now a setting in uh go high level calendar section so you can oh my god this is this guy's literally spammed my comment box no worries thank you i get a lot of positive reviews i mean comments uh from my videos so i'm, I'm really grateful that you guys are saying all these nice things to me and you know uh, this actually motivates me to create more content and help you guys so yeah thank you thank you very much well i cannot find anything else uh which are you know more than two weeks so i hope that answers a few of your questions if not a lot because again i haven't been uh so much active on my youtube channel so i hope to do more topic research and do more uh videos that will definitely help i, I don't want to end up making a bunch of videos that won't you know help a lot of people so um i'll be back and till then thank you very much and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one thank you you bye